Hi. Um, I think I only have like three more videos to go and they'll be done. Because he's starting to uh, hit back less and less, fewer words, fewer words. It's, it's, it's becoming more and more heated. He's more confrontational now, but he's not responding back with so many words. So I think this is coming to an end here. And I think I only have like 15 more minutes of the... I think I only have three more videos to go here. Then I'll be done. Okay, now I want to show you. Uh, I'll be doing this side when I, I'll, when I read my words, and I'll be <laughs> reading his words with my goofier side. So here we go here. Okay. All right. And if the gospel isn't the New Testament part of the book, which uh, makes uh, people the book, then as I keep on asking you over and over and over and over and over and over and over again, then where is the angel I'm supposed to stand firm upon? Where is the Torah a Jew is supposed to stand firm upon? How come you can never, ever, ever, ever answer me? Want to take a hint? Look! Don't worry about the angel and the Torah. There is Quran now! Right! <laughs> There is Quran now, which tells me to stand firm upon the Torah and Injil. Surah 5, verse 68. That's chapter 5, verse 68. And tells you to go to those who have read the before scriptures, that is the Bible, if you are in doubt about the Quran. See, 10, see Quran 10, verse 94. But you don't believe that, do you? So, what's the problem here, huh? <laughs> the problem is that, is that the Quran confirms and reminds something you feel is is corrupted, which means that the Quran is corrupted. How, how can it not? The Quran is here to correct the Bible. Okay, do you understand? How? How? When it says the Bible is confirmed by the Quran. Well, the Quran has uh, chapter 5, or chapter 5, verse 68, 1094, 4, 136, 4, 150, 4, 151, and chapter 2, verse 285. How? How does that correct the Bible? All it does say, I'll tell you, all it does is say there's nothing wrong with the Bible. Do you get it? Apparently not. Five. Current five. Verse 68 says, All people of the scripture, you are standing on nothing until you uphold the law of the Torah, the gospel. Ex exactly. Exactly. And... And what has been revealed to you from your Lord? Right. And if it's the Quran, then it contradicts, quote, you are on nothing until you uphold the Torah and Gospel. H how can it not? And that which has been revealed to you from your Lord will surely increase many of them in transgression and disbelief. Why? Why? Because it tells you to stand firm upon something corrupted? Is that my fault for being Quran 5 verse 68? So do you, so do not grieve over the disbelieving people. Right. Right. Yeah. Saw their, yeah. Saw their heads off for mild white patooties in Jenna. What's wrong with you, man? Damn! Do you understand English? Well, apparently you don't. God is saying here that you standing on nothing and that the Bible is nothing. <laughs> what does the what does the word until mean? What does you are on nothing until you uphold the gospel? And you accuse me of not knowing? my native tongue and you call me names for 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 seeing something very apparent very apparent and opposite 
of how you want it when it's not so? Do you understand? Damn, damn you! You are a baby man! <laughs> I don't think so. As a matter of fact, I'm going to turn this into videos and see how others view it, okay? The law and the, the law and the gospel is in Quran. So you don't have to seek, you don't have to seek for the angel and Torah, okay? Then, if true, why does it tell me I have no ground to stand upon unless I stand firm upon the angel? Don't you see how you just contradicted yourself? The angel is not the Quran because the angel is all about Jesus going to the cross and being the only begotten Son of God, nothing to do with pulling out a prayer rug and having your patootie in the air five times a day to avoid hellfire like Islam is, is mostly about. I hope you understand that now because you are stupid man, dumb! <laughs> Well, uh, we'll see uh, when I tr we'll see if you're right when I turn this into videos. I'll give you a sample of what I mean soon. By the way, the Torah and Angel was was only for the Christian, or, or was only for the children of Israel, the Jews. So the Angel is not for the mist, it's not for you, Mister, but only for the Jews. Okay. If so. Then why doesn't the Quran say so? Why is there Surah 5, verse 68? There's mention of Jews and 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 um, well, it says people of the book. There's Jews and Christians, you know. And the Quran is for the whole world, whole world. So I hope you understand it now. If so, if so, then again, why is there Quran 5:68? Quran 1094, Quran 4, verse 136, uh, 4, 150, uh, 4, 151, and Quran 2, verse 200, uh, 285. Why? And then I show him the video, the first video, which is all about this to see, you know, just to show him that uh, I'm turning these things into videos. I go, oh, I say, by the way, uh, won't you use your, by the way, I won't use your name. And I say, I say, you are my muse. Enjoy. And then I give him another video. And then after the video, he says this. I don't think God wants to guide you. I don't think. I don't think God wants to guide. I don't think God wants to guide you and open your eyes because you are too arrogant and too lost, man. Damn. Doesn't the Quran say all the guides off the right path as he, they pleases? You know, all likes to say he's majestic we, so he, they pleases. If so, how is it my fault if you are right about me being arrogant and lost? I want to, I want to, I want to move on and not stick on the same lame, stupid dialogue debate. And never answer my question as to why I should obey Quran 5 verse 68 if the Bible is corrupted? Well, I can see why you uh, want to move on, for such a question can't be answered if you want to remain a Muslim. Can you please explain this to me? Okay. Ezekiel 20, King James Version. Quote, uh, uh, King James tw uh, 20 verse 24 says, quote, quote, because they had not ex executed my judgments, but had despised my statutes, and had polluted my Sabbaths, and their eyes were after their father's idols. Wherefore I gave them also statutes, statutes that were not good, and judgments whereby they should not live. So God gave them bad buzz. Ha! Huh? I bet you feel that that is not a warning to others in the future who possibly end up in false religions like Islam if they uh, went against God. True? My f my friend God will, my friend, God will guide you if you are sincere and not arrogant. Uh, you're completely blind to the fact that Allah guides off and on the right path as He pleases. 
aren't you? All you have to do is to ask God to guide. Don't ask Jesus, but God, okay? Does not the Quran say that it's impossible to have Allah guide you onto the right path after Allah has guided you off the right path? So how can asking how can asking get Allah to go against the Quran that says no one can get off the on or off the path that Allah guides you on or off of? Jesus can do nothing for you. I bet I can produce scriptures that uh, say he can, and if I do, you won't believe them, I bet. Even your Bible says, Acts chapter 2, verse 22, You men of Israel, hear these words, Jesus of Nazareth, a man approved of God, among you by miracles and wonders and signs. Can you show in the Quran where Muhammad did miracles, wonders and signs? Which God did by him in the midst of you, as ye yourselves also know, you can clearly see that your own Bible calls Jesus a man, a prophet of God. Right. I bet you think I only believe Jesus was God and not man, true? Job chapter 24, Job 20, chapter 25 verse 4. How can man be justified with God? Or how can he be clean, that is, born of women? Behold, even to the moon, and it shineth not. Yea, the stars are not pure in his sight. How much less man, that is a worm, and the son of man, which is a worm. Oh, well, how about the Son of God? Your own Bible testified that Jesus could never be God, or the Son, or whatever. So you do agree with Job, so you do agree that Job is talking about Jesus, correct? Uh... I'll continue this.